Salam Dostar, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today it's November 27th, still snowing. The whole city is covered in snow. So today's video I want to talk about residence visa in Kazakhstan. A lot of people messaged me asking, um, do I have a residence visa? What are the positive things about having a residence visa? Uh, I, do, I do not have a residence visa and I'm not planning to apply for a residence visa. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. There are a few reasons why. Uh, if you want to settle in Kazakhstan, the only way is to get residence visa. There's no uh, passport. Kazakhstan don't support dual passport, dual citizenship. But anyway, I'm not going to apply for. I'm not going to apply for uh, uh, residence visa, and this is why. Uh, my personal situation is I have been living in Kazakhstan for almost eight years now and I'm married to a Kazakh citizen and I have two children here in Kazakhstan. Uh, so my both children, they are Kazakh citizens. I took Kazakh passport for them. Um, so I, I, I'm not planning to take residence visa for a few reasons. One, it's very difficult to get a residence visa even if uh, you are married to a Kazakh citizen. And uh, for me, even with eight years of experience, uh, they, at the moment, they are very they're very careful to whom they give passport. They don't want a lot of people coming and staying here uh, because there are a lot of uh, people from surrounding countries of Kazakhstan. They're married to a Kazakh citizen just to get the residence visa. The issue with for me is at the moment as the international working here in Kazakhstan, uh, those who are working with the work visa, we pay around 10% tax. But locals, they pay around 21%. So it's a tax plus pension and uh, on top of something, top 21 percentage. So being an international uh, on a work visa, I can save around 11 percentage of my salary with that. Second, even if you take a residence visa in Kazakhstan, it's valid, it's valid until your passport uh, expires. Whichever is minimum, it's either 10 years or the validity of your passport, whichever is the minimum. Okay, let's say I go through all this process. There's a lot of documents I should take from India, a lot of process here. Uh, I need to visit a lot of office in either Nusultan or in Aktabe. Uh, the residence visa get uh, cancelled. Uh, residence visa get cancelled uh, if I'm outside the country for six months. So personally for me, uh, I'm planning to work here and then move to India, move back to India. I'm going to take my family to India. Uh, because my bank accounts are there, I, I have, I'm planning to buy a house in India. So even if I go through all this process and if I leave the country for six months, the residence, valid, residence visa gets cancelled. Uh, so that's the main reason I'm not planning to take a residence visa. Um, there are some advantages as I discussed before, I can buy a house, take a loan, buy a car, loan a car. But let's, let's assume I buy a car here and uh, during my residence visa uh, and I leave the country and my residence visa is cancelled, it's going to be a big difficulty to get back my home. So that's why I'm not buying any property or cars here uh, and not planning to take residence visa. Some people take residence visa. I know a lot of uh, foreigners, not a lot, a few foreigners who took residence visa because they're planning to move to Kazakhstan completely. Uh, they took residence visa, they have their own business, they're planning to stay here forever. For them, yeah, residence visa is fine, uh, it's valid for 10 years, it's easy to renew again at the end of 10 years. So that's it for me, uh, I'm not planning to take residence visa, work here for some time and then go back to India. But if you're planning to settle here forever with a family, um, with children, start a business, uh, it's better to stay here so you can buy a house with residence visa. That's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe. I always say 96% of the people who watch my video are not subscribed. Please do subscribe uh, if you enjoy my content. Uh, see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.